up stack collectors it's your boy a stats back again with another one but today's a little bit different um what i have for you guys today is of course the sideshow premium format exclusive logo and man and you know what before i get into it let me give you guys a, a short short uh backstory on logo just in case you don't know who he is so now um i was basically an infant of course when this story uh, came out and I didn't start reading uh, the Lobo uh, DC series maybe until like uh, elementary school. So for you guys who don't know the origins of um, Lobo, you can catch him and um, it started out in basically uh, the Omega Man issue number three, which came out in 1983. Um, it was basically a spinoff from the Green Lantern book number 141 in 1981. I didn't read that, but this information that I found that I'm gonna go back and find out the origins. Um, he's always been a bounty hunter and we didn't see him basically what we know him as today um, in his new image until uh, post-crisis on Infinite Earth. Um, this is where we see the recon logo as we know him today. And I mean, just from that uh, recon, the guy is just a complete lunatic. I mean, um, we see through the series that when he was born, he basically bit off the um, the uh, nurse's fingers and he chased around the doctor um, in the, uh, I guess, delivery room with scalpels. And of course, you know, um, the story tells us that the uh, uh, doctor basically saw his brains. And of course, um, Lobo here has always been an outcast on his planet. I mean, we see that, you know, he killed his whole entire race just for fun, his rock band, and he's just basically a complete uh, lunatic as we know him. And he's also, you know, one of the most favorites uh, DC uh, characters. That's probably why I came and I decided to get this bad boy. And this goal came out five years ago. So now the problem that I'm having is basically, man, as we all know, Sideshow recently release uh, another version of uh, uh, Lobo, which is uh, a uh, uh, maquette, maquette. And I mean, I'll show my little digital image right here so you can see what he looks like. And then I was thinking like, man, that, that Lobo looks really, really awesome. Uh, should I go ahead and basically buy it? And I'm having a lot of trouble deciding. So I'm trying to see if I can get help from my subscribers. And I just want to give you guys a quick shout out Thanks for really, really subscribing to this channel. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in, taking your time and sharing the passion together because this is a hobby that is extremely addictive. So I guess I had to take it back. You know, I had to bring it back to like, man, should I really like um, sell my logo to get the new logo? Because I mean, you know, this is an expensive hobby. But man, I mean, when I look back on this particular statue and I'm going to give you guys a quick uh, turnaround I mean to this day this statue still in my opinion knocks out all the logo statues I mean of course we've seen some from um, XM Studios where he's um, riding the bike with the dolphins the prom the prime one to me it just does not add up to this I mean the colors on this particular logo and I love to display him with the dreads. And I love to display him with the skull on fire. And then, of course, at that time, I bought the uh, exclusive dog that you could basically put under the base. Or you could he has his own base that sometimes I kind of struggle. Should I just put dog on the base or should I just put, put him under Lobo? And, man, I mean, it's, it's, it's still, it still adds up. I mean, the, the new Marquette piece... It's, it's nice, it's kind of fun, but um, I guess what I'm struggling with, it looks a little bit um, loony. And what I mean by that is, it's like you see him with the cool guitar and then different colors on the guitar, kind of reminds me of like playing uh, Guitar Hero. And it's, it's, very, it's basically like cartoonish compared to this Lobo that's just extremely, extremely hardcore. I mean, he got his like gun holstered on the side and the gun has like extreme details onto it. Um, there's a lot of weathering. The base itself holds up. And then we also see the um, iconic dolphins imprinted on the base. 
and you see with the muffler on the sides of the base. And then he has these cool, you know, back um, pockets, um, pouches that you can hang on his belt. He has the iconic uh, Bite Me uh, fanboy leather jacket. Um, this uh, leather jacket, I mean, it's mixed media and it feels and it looks like real leather. And then of course the muscles, um, it's just extremely detailed. And they kind of like added like a really dark, um, uh, a dark like kind of shade to the muscle that really makes the muscles pop, makes the color pop. And then the dreads, of course, I love. He has this nice gun. Um, and then even the knee pads, the knee pads, the color is just, this is to me, it's like one of the greatest, greatest uh, sideshow sculpts ever. Nothing tops this logo. And I have been one of the few people that's lucky to own it. Um, I would say, look, guys, if, if you um, is interested in getting this, and let's say you could buy it somewhere or for reseller for a reasonable price, I, I can't even stress enough how much worth it it is. And let's have some tea real quick. Um, it's extremely worth it, you know. So um, as far as like me uh, getting the, um, the new logo Marquette. I want you guys to decide. I want the, um, you know, my my subscribers, you know, leave some comments. Um, anyone that's watching this channel, what do you think? Do you think like the new Lobo Marquette kind of like outweighs this one or the old premium? I shouldn't even say old because this to me is it's still relevant to this time. But the, the Lobo statue that came out a few years ago, do you think it outweighs the new um, size of Marquette? Even though both pieces are great. Um, I like basically displaying him with the, uh, you know, the dreads. Um, I guess if you want guys to take it back, I can go get the other piece. I'll show you guys what he looks like. Just give me a second. <laughs> Let me just grab him real quick. Um, all right. Sorry about that, guys. Just didn't have it yet. So this is what it looks like. You know, with the um, other head, and you always have to put the chain to the side to make sure it fits. Yep. And be always be careful with this head because the dreads are a little bit, you know, could be a little fragile. And then if you like um, this iconic hook, you can basically. Um, put this hand in, oops, and it's magnetic, so you gotta be careful with it. And then you can always take this off and put them, uh, I forgot, it's been a while since I put the, oh, no, you know what, it's right here, to the side. Okay, just look for the hole, yeah. And that gives you that effect. Yeah, so, but I like the, um, the dread better. I mean, this this head is basically cool, but um, I like the dreads better. It just looked more hardcore to me. And I mean, that's why I got them. I mean, even the boots, I mean, coming down to the boots, the way it was done, the sculpted, but it looks like real leather. And then the shields, the shin shields, uh, man, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's still relevant. So <clears throat> I'm trying to decide, you know, maybe should I still go ahead and get the um, other, uh, Lobo Marquette just to have like I guess both on display I don't know I don't know because um this one I mean I guess Sideshow try to top it by adding like the guitar and him like basically like crushing you know um the aliens but for some reason I just think this one still holds up I think it beats all of them you know Prime one they did one um it was pretty cool but I seen it in person um, at uh, Comic Con, and it just didn't do it for me. And then um, you know the um, the uh, what was it, the other one, uh, the XM one. Um, uh, it was it was it's it's, it's kind of okay, you know. Even though I love uh, uh, XM Studios and all the stuff that they do, but I still think you know. And this one, I, I want the uh, my subscribers to. Uh, basically leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think which one holds up is it the um, premium exclusive logo or is it the new 
um, Sideshow Lobo Marquette. And those of you who are new to my channel, you know, if you like this, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit subscribe and hit the notification button because I'm telling you guys, I got a lot of good stuff coming. And also, um, if you uh, miss my um, 2021, uh, uh, basically, uh, pre-orders, there's a video that you can basically uh, click on one of my um, my channels and it will tell you exactly everything that's coming for 2021. And I also have some one-tenth scale statues that's going with, I say again, with the mother and mother of diorama. So guys, it's early in the morning. I just wanted to put this out there, show you guys what's on my mind. And, uh, you know, keep your stats up, man. You know, keep the passion going. Um, and make sure your girlfriend and your wife accepts you, because mine does. Because if that doesn't happen, you wouldn't get any statues like this because my wife bought me the statue. So shout out to my wife. And guys, keep us keep the stats up, and I'll check you on the next one. One. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my most anticipated one-tenth scale statues for 2021. Thanks. Peace.